Do you have trouble finding nude lipsticks that work for your skin tone? Don't worry, I got you. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of my favorite nude lipstick combinations. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, keep on watching. Nehima, your go-to channel for fashion and beauty here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite nude lipstick combinations that I wear literally on an everyday basis. I'm going to let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. Nude lipsticks are actually my favorite lip colors to wear. I do enjoy a nice bold lip, whether it be a red or a berry color, or I've been known to wear purple, but I have found that 90% of the time I'm reaching for a lipstick is finna be a nude. If you guys have dark skin like me, you'll know it's really hard to find a nude lipstick that won't make your lips look absolutely ashy. Ooh, I almost had a flashback. But luckily, I've been able to accumulate a collection of nudes now that I'm going to share with you guys, all the way from high-end price range to low-end price range. So there's definitely going to be a nude lip product in this video for you. Now let me stop rambling and let's hop right into these nude lipstick combinations. But if you aren't already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel by clicking the subscription button down below. And while you're down there, you might as well go ahead and click that bell notification on so you're notified whenever I do upload on my channel. Now let's go right into nude lip combo number one. what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Now this one is my go-to lip combo for almost anything. It's probably my most worn one. I categorize this one as a neutral nude because I personally think that you can wear this lip look with almost anything. You could wear it with warm tone outfits, you can wear it with cool tone outfits, and I personally think, you know, it's a really good combination for dark skin if you want something that is a little bit on like the more traditional lighter nude side. This one is like a thruple. It consists of three different lip products to achieve this look, which, you know, often is the case for dark skin. So first off, we have Cashmere. This one is an Avon lipstick. It's just like a simple matte lipstick. I've had this one for years now and I really love it. It's a true nude lipstick and it's very, very neutral. If I ever want to lighten a nude look or lighten other lip colors, I go for this one. And I'll try to leave links to all these lipsticks in the description box down below so that you guys are able to find them. The second thing you're gonna need is the dark brown lipstick. So my favorite right now is my L'Oreal Le Chocolat. It's in the shade 70% Yum. The number is 856, again, I'll leave information in the description box down below. This one is like a super nice dark, dark brown liquid lipstick. And the thing I love about this one, it smells like chocolate, you guys. It smells like chocolate. I, I think this whole line from L'Oreal actually smells like chocolate, but this one is just literally, it looks like chocolate. It smells like chocolate. It probably tastes like chocolate, but we're not gonna do that right now. If I ever want a liner, like I reach for this one, I typically like to line my lips with another lipstick because I just think it blends a little bit better than a lip liner sometimes. So the third lip product is actually this glossiness that ties the look all together and it is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. This one is, oh my gosh, such a gem, truly. I thought when I first got this, it was gonna be too light for me, which I mean, it is on its own, but in this lip combination, I absolutely love it. And all three of these are my dream team for creating this new lip look. And I really, really love it for almost anything. And if you guys want swatches of these lipsticks, make sure you wait until the very end of the video because I'll do side-by-side -side swatches of all of these so you guys get a nice idea of which ones you want to actually purchase. But for now, let's go on to lip combo number two. So 
this is what these two look like on their own. You can definitely wear it like this for a nice creamy pinky nude look, but I personally like to go ahead and top it off with a lip gloss. If you guys already know me on this channel, y'all know I, your girl loves a lip gloss. So almost everything is gonna be topped with a lip gloss. But of course you could definitely wear them without lip gloss as well. Okay, so this is lip combo number two. So this combo is my go-to for a pinky nude look. I personally love to do a pinky nude with more of creamy kind of lip products. So the three products that go into this one is again, another dark brown lipstick, but this time it's a cream lipstick and sorry for the ratchetness. As you guys can see, this is abused and loved. So this one is actually the Black Radiance Cosmetics Perfect Home HD Lip Sculptor and I have mine in the shade Brown Sugar Babe and this one is my go-to dark brown traditional type lipstick. These cream lipsticks really do a good job of blending in with the shades that you put on top of them and the star of the show for this lip combo is this lipstick from 100% Pure Cosmetics. This one is actually a newer addition to my collection, but ever since I got it, I have fallen in love. It has replaced my other pinky nude type bullet lipsticks. So that's how you guys know this one is a good one because I do not let go of my faves easily at all. This one is in the shade Thistle, and let me get the full name of the lipstick for you guys. It is called the 100% pure fruit pigmented pomegranate oil anti-aging lipstick a lot of stuff but I personally describe this as like a semi matte because I think you could definitely make this matte if you wanted to but it's nice and moisturizing and I think that's probably the pomegranate oil in it working not only do I love the packaging because like this hot pink action like it definitely makes a statement as soon as you pull it out but the actual formula I really like this because it keeps my lips hydrated all day long I do not have to worry about that and this color is just stunning to top it all off I like to go in with my other NYX butter gloss and this one is in the shade praline this one is a pinky nude lip gloss NYX butter glosses are honestly the best lip glosses at the drugstore and they just have such a great color range especially for nudes I have some that I bought like six or seven of like I love these lip glosses and this one just tied this whole lip look together as well I really really like this lip combo it's the perfect pinky nude look that is dark skin friendly and is very very feminine and pretty in my opinion so now let's go on to lip combo number three okay so this is lip combo number three this one is clearly the cool nude lipstick of your dreams I, I don't know if I was the only one but I am obsessed with cool tone almost anything but especially lipstick when I was really stepping away from bold lipsticks and getting into nudes I really wanted to have a cool toned nude lip look that could be my go-to and this one is definitely it Again, this one consists of three lipsticks, and if you guys are not sure why I typically use three lipsticks in my lip combos, it's because I want to get an ombre effect with my lips. So the first one is, once again, another dark brown liquid lipstick, but this one is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Goth Topic. This is one I've had in my collection for a long time. This one's actually almost done. But the reason why I really like this one in my collection is because it's a little bit more on the warmer side. So if you want something that can like really layer well with other products, this is going to be it. And these ones are like literally five bucks. Often with cool tone looks, you can make the mistake of going too cool tone. 
So I actually like to balance it out by using this warm tone brown just to like, you know, make it a little bit more wearable, at least for my skin tone, because I do have a neutral skin tone, but it slightly leans to the warm golden side. So I just want it to be, you know, wearable and I don't want to look dead. And so the second color that I go in with is my NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Brooklyn Thorn. I, whew, I literally can remember the day I got this lipstick. I was so excited because this one is a great, great, great nude cool tone brown shade. It, it's like the nude that has purple in it. Like it looks really, really cool tone but the purple makes it wearable and is a really really nice shade especially for a dark skin tone and another cool lipstick that i also added to my collection was this elf one and this one is in the shade smoky taupe and i got this one because i wanted a lighter cool tone lipstick to add to my cool tone lipstick concoction you know i needed a lightener that would work for it and this one is definitely that lightener this one is literally a gray color like a taupey gray color so those three create this beautiful matte cool tone lip look that I really really love. If you are a gloss lover and you still want the cool tone look, I often used to add cinnamon roll which is another one of the NYX butter glosses but unfortunately I just ran out of cinnamon roll so I can't add it on top of this. So now let's go on to lip combo number four. Okay, so this next lip combo is perfect for you simple lipstick lovers, and it's what I call the classic brown nude. So it only actually consists of two lip products, and the first one is this Sephora Lip Stories lipstick in the shade 11. This one is a cream formula brown lipstick, but it's not a super dark brown. It's almost like a medium tone brown, but it's a little bit on the dark side and it's why I really love this product. So I use this once again to line my lips but I kind of take it a little bit more into my lips than the other brown that I've used before. It's not a game, it's a yeah, as you guys can see, it's a dark brown, but it's definitely not as deep as those other browns that I was showing you. So if you guys like just more mid-tone brown, nudie kind of lipsticks this is the one for you i like to top it off with my og nyx butter gloss and this one is in the shade ginger snap this is the one that started it all it was the first lip gloss that i purchased from nyx and it's what made me fall in love with the butter glosses and try all those other ones out so if y'all don't already know about ginger snap y'all need to catch up ginger snap has been here she's been that girl like honestly so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this over everything And this is the lip gloss that I was talking about that I purchased like over six of them. Like I have, currently I have like three of these. Like I have one in my everyday bag, I have one in my makeup collection, and I have one in my backpack. So Ginger Snap comes with me everywhere. And clearly you guys can see why. This one I would say is my other go-to nude lip combo. I definitely wear this one a lot. It's just so just classic. And once again, all the information, links, and names of colors are in the description box down below. Some people have told me that they don't know necessarily where to find the description box. So if you just like scroll down and you'll see something that says see more, click on see more. And that's where you'll see the whole list of the lipsticks. Just in case anybody didn't know how to find them. I've had some questions on that in the past. Now let's go on to lip combo number five. Okay, so this one is lip combo number five. I absolutely love this one and it's super simple to create. I literally just went in with that L'Oreal dark brown liquid lipstick again and I lined my lips just like I did before, but in the center I added this Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu liquid lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. And this lipstick, as you guys can see, is just a beautiful, gorgeous, like pinky nude. And what I love about this one is it looks like a berry pink color in the bottle, but when you put it on your lips, you really see like the nude undertone come to life. And once these ones like dry down to like their ultimate matteness, it's a, such a seamless combination. And I personally think like you just need this combo in your life. And this is a combination that I often get 
compliments on when I wear it out. So I'm sure the same will happen to you guys when you guys wear it as well. But <laughs> because I'm me, I want to show you guys what it looks like with the gloss on top. So I'm just gonna take my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow, and I'm just gonna apply a really tiny amount to the very center of this lip look. So this is what it looks like glossed up, and I also think it looks really pretty this way as well. promise this is what all the lip products that I showed you in today's video look like swatched next to each other. This will give you a good comparison of which ones you're thinking about picking up, especially amongst like the darker browns. I have all of them and I use all of them, but maybe you just want to pick up one. Like I said, I love them so much and they are my favorites in my collection. So what did you guys think of my list of go-to nude lip combos for dark skin? Please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys use any of the nude lipsticks I showed you in today's video. How do you guys combine your lip products to work for your skin tone? Please, please let me know. If I didn't mention one of your favorites, also let me know. And I'd love to check out that lipstick if I don't already own it in my collection. But like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I am obsessed with nude lipstick. So this is definitely not all the nudes I have in my collection by far. I have a bunch more so if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and i will do a part two showing you guys some more nude lipsticks that work for dark skin some more combinations that i like to wear because these are not all of them but i also have a lot of other lip colors if you guys want to check those out as well i did go ahead and already make a top five red lipsticks for dark skin video and i'll link that up in the eye above so you guys can go ahead and check that out and find some red lipsticks that will work for your skin tone as well if you guys enjoyed today's video, I hope that you guys will consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscription button down below. And while you're down there, you might as well go ahead and click that bell notification on so you're notified whenever I do upload. As always, see you guys next time. Now stay tuned for the bloopers. Absolute favorite. A crack baby. But a dark brown lip. Yo, le chocolat. Le Chocolat is my L'Oreal Le Chocolat. It still has some plastic on there, excuse me. Numero dos. Is the ish, so y'all need to hop on.